Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am going to show you what I'm getting up to at work and I'm in this little room that is honestly so cold. It has been snowing the last two days. I'll show you out the window but it's like minus two, it's snowing. Work is very quiet because a lot of people are working from home because they don't want to travel in because of the snow. But yes, yesterday was... Monday. Didn't film yesterday. I wasn't really feeling great to be honest. Today is Tuesday and I'm doing the same thing today as I was doing yesterday. So I've already filtered water samples. I'm going to spike the water samples now. These water samples aren't actually like real samples. They're just milliku water but I'm developing a method at the moment so I just have to spike all of the water samples with different concentrations of my standards to see if I can recover them with the cleanup method and using the LCMS analysis. Hope that makes sense. If you have any more questions about kind of recoveries and developing methods, please let me know in the comments below. But yes, I've filtered the water. I'm now going to spike the samples and then we're going to set everything up for the SPE. So I will show you as I set everything up. Here are all of my filtered water samples. Again, just milliku water. And I have my spiking solutions, my internal standard, and my other two spiking solutions here. Some of them are empty as you can see, but some of them are still quite full, so we just need to keep waiting for them to load. And this is the speed that they are loading at. One drop per second. Drip drip. Good morning friends, happy Wednesday. It is so cold today. I just realised I never showed you the snow yesterday, so I'll show you that in a second. But it is 20 past 8, I have arrived at work, I have to clean up from yesterday. Oh, my vial fell over. What is it doing? Um, yeah, I need to clean up from yesterday. I need to dry my samples so I can run all my samples hopefully by this afternoon on the LCMS. I need to change over the LCMS column and the mobile phases and run some standards to make sure that the system is performing well and I also need to work on this grant application also. So I'm, I'm a good chunk through the grant application. I think I mentioned it before but in case you didn't see that video I am applying for a grant which is a seed corn grant which is basically a kind of proof of concept pilot study kind of grant. So it's a smaller grant but it's for for one year and it allows you to develop a method or to gain initial data which could then be used to apply for a bigger grant. So yeah, this is my second grant that I'll be applying for. I still need to find out about the first one. I should find out before the end of February. Fingers crossed about that. Um, but yes, I really need to work on that grant. I want my supervisor just to have a look over it and give some comments and I want to give him enough time to do that. So I ideally want to get it finished this week. So let's hope that I can find some more time out of the lab to, yeah, get this grant finished. Fingers crossed. Just switching on the hot plate so I can use the nitrogen to dry my samples, which are over here. So I had three batches. This was batch one, <laughs> my little sticky note. Batch two and batch three. These two are already dried down, so I just need to dry down these ones and then I need to reconstitute them so I need to add a known concentration uh, sorry a known volume of solvents so I'll add one mil to all of them and then I can transfer them 
to LCMS vials already for LCMS analysis. I also need to tidy away the SPE cartridges from yesterday and also all of these bottles from the SPE. So I will give them all a rinse out and I will pop them in here so they will go off to the cleaning, the wash bay um, where Anne, our designated um, wash bay lady, I guess, will put them through the dishwasher and get them all dried and everything and get them delivered back to us. I recently realized that on Spotify, you can listen to audiobooks now, which I didn't realize if you have Spotify premium. This is not an advert. If I was getting sponsored by Spotify premium, then that would be great, but I am not. <laughs> I'm a paying customer. But yeah, that's been keeping me occupied in the lab. I have been listening to the book that I'm currently reading, which is quite nice. It's called I Will Find You by Harlan Coben. It's like a thriller type book. Yeah, so I've been listening to that while I've been doing my lab work. These headphones are the AirPods Max, I think they're called, the Apple ones, and they are safe to use in the lab because they actually have like a microphone function that amplifies sounds around you. So if something was to happen, I would be able to hear it. I don't use them on noise cancelling mode when I'm in the lab. I use them on the amplification mode. So yeah, completely safe to have my headphones on and to be working in the lab. So my first stage in preparing the LCMS is that I need to run acetonitrile through the column. The column is in here. This is the column because I am going to remove this column and change it to another one and I want to store it in acetonitrile because that helps to keep the column healthy while it's in storage. So I'm just going to change over one of these mobile face bottles to acetonitrile and run 100% of that through the column for about 10 to 15 minutes. I have not long finished lunch and I had ran a standard while I was having my lunch but now just checking the peaks because I need to check if the retention times are okay because this analysis is a bit tricky sometimes the peaks change retention time from run to run which is annoying so I need to just make sure the retention time is okay and I can alter the method uh, if not and set it all up ready to run my samples hello friends it is friday i would say happy friday but i am not a happy bunny so i didn't vlog yesterday i was at home all day which i would usually vlog if i'm having a working from home day but yesterday i got sick again so i currently do not feel great i have a sore throat i have like my sinuses are all inflamed and sore my nose is running <laughs> Can you hear that? I'm sneezing and I'm coughing occasionally. So if you remember from previous vlogs when I was sick, it seems to have come back for the third time. Oh, I have to say I am so over January. I am so over the snow. I am so over the cold, the darkness. January is just really not starting out very well. It's not setting a good tone for the year. So yes, yesterday I was working from home. I had some data to process and some Excel sheets to like clean up. And then I was working on my grant application that I told you about the other day. And I made quite good progress on the grant application actually. I think I'll manage to get it finished next week, which is good. But I asked my office mate Sarah if she could check my LCMS run while I was at home. She sent me some pictures. The calibration does not look good. So I'm going to go and check out the LCMS, rerun the samples over the weekend if I need to, if I'm not happy with the instrument performance and the kind of the quality control. And I'm not going to hang around at work too much because I don't want to infect my colleagues, but I need to come in and I need to do this. So yeah, that is the plan today. I'm so annoyed that I'm sick again. Honestly, I just got better and and then I was starting to work out again. I was starting to do introduce cardio back into my exercise routine because I felt like I could exercise again and my lungs could handle it. And now I genuinely feel like I'm back to square one. If I still feel sick on Monday, I'm going to contact the doctor because maybe I need like antibiotics or something. You know, maybe there was something here. It got a bit better, but it never quite cleared up. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, I just want to feel well and I want to feel healthy and yeah. Right, I'm going to go check the LCMS, so let's see what happened yesterday. My nose is going to drip. So this is one of the calibration curves that, that Sarah had sent me yesterday. As you can see, that is not a calibration curve at all. These points should all be straight. There should be an R squared of 0 0.99. So this analysis is a bit tricky in the sense that weird things happen sometimes. Like, look at this. What is this? This is not a peak. 
that's a peak. This is not a peak either. There's two points, well, four points, but look at the intensity, it's so high. So something strange was definitely going on. I've seen this happen before. Yeah, but it's a case of whether it stabilized into the samples, which I don't think it did. So I think I'm just gonna rerun all of the samples again. Yeah, look at that. That is not good. No peaks, where are my peaks? That's a peak, that's a peak. So then it started to stabilize, if you see what I mean. So annoying because I literally run 10 blanks, so 10 solvent peaks, uh, 10 solvent injections, sorry, at the beginning of the run to try and like stabilize everything. It's got a good equilibration, it's cleaned everything out of the column, but yeah, this is still, this has still happened. So I'm just gonna rerun it over the weekend and I can analyze the data on Monday. I've just realized that we might actually have an issue because I put in an order for LCMS grade solvents before Christmas and they still haven't arrived. And I spoke to our uh, lady down in the stores, Ruby, who handles all of our orders and everything, and she said that they should be coming yesterday. But when I came in this morning, I come in the back door, which goes past the stores, and I couldn't see my order. So I'm going to have to go down and chat to her and see if my order came in and maybe my colleague Pat had put them away because if they haven't come in then I don't have any LCMS grade water which means that I can't make more mobile phase and means that I can't run the run over the weekend. So that's my first kind of mystery that I need to solve this morning. Oh gosh I can't stop sniffing I sound awful. So it is a little while after coffee break now and I was actually planning to go home to work on the grant because it is cold <laughs> and the radiator doesn't seem to be heating up our office. Where is my lab coat? Oh, it's here. Um, but I just got an email saying that my solvents have arrived, which means that I can set up my run over the weekend. So a change of plans. I'm going to set that up and then we are going to go home. <laughs> So we have sorted out all the solvents as you would have seen and I am now running a standard with the new mobile phases that I've managed to now make up and we're going to see if the retention times come the same. If they do, we're going to rerun the samples over the weekend and then I'm done with lab work. I have some little updates for you all. So I think I might be going to this kind of workshop slash conference uh, thingy to network and to meet people that are also working on pollutants in the environment and it's kind of more of a strategy kind of meeting it's people from all different aspects of environmental science I guess and we're there to discuss different uh, themes and different questions from experts in the field to try and come up with some strategies and solutions so that's at the end of February so I need to sign up for that next week I also think I'm going to be doing a beekeeping course which is going to start in February because I do plan to apply for a project related to bees in the future, probably at the end of the year. So yeah, I've been given the go ahead to sign up for this beekeeping course. So it's a series of different lectures and also you get to go to the beehives. I can't remember what their technical name is and yeah, learn how to handle the bees, which is quite cool. I also have some exciting news that I am almost official because I've not signed a contract yet a associate lecturer at the University of West of Scotland so I am going to be helping out marking I think it's undergraduate and master's dissertations I think so I'm going to be assigned a couple of students I'm going to be doing that over the next couple of months helping them write their dissertation thesis it's not on chemistry it's on project management and yeah I got this opportunity through my boyfriend's mum who is a lecturer in project management at that university so that will be really interesting Thing to be marking and helping with those dissertations and I get paid for it of course which is an added bonus and it'll be really good to have on my CV that I worked as an associate lecturer so I'm excited for that to start I think we will have our first meeting next week 
I believe. And my final exciting thing is that I have booked a holiday. So I'm going on holiday for my birthday at the beginning of March. So I'm going to Malta with my boyfriend. And if you didn't know, I actually used to live and work in Malta after I finished my undergraduate degree. I moved to Malta for a year and I was working as a quality control laboratory analyst. So if you would like any more information on what my experience was like during that job, please do let me know and I can share all the tea, I can share my whole experience, um, all my secrets. But let me know if you'd be interested in that because it might be useful for some of you that are deciding what you want to do after your undergraduate degree. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to the office now and wait for the standard to run. It should take about half an hour. And then I'll come back, I'll check it. And if it's all good, I'm gonna run the samples and go home and finish working from home, I think. Guys, it might look like I'm still here, but it's actually been two hours since I last spoke to you because, yeah, I managed to top up the mobile phases, ran the standard, and my retention times are now off. So I had to run a blank and I run another standard and things are still strange. So it's now 2 p.m. I am going to go home. I need to rest and I've worked my hours for the week. So this is a problem for Monday. I'm not in a rush to get this data, so it's absolutely fine if I leave it until Monday. It's just annoying because every sample takes half an hour, no, 35 minutes to run. So even if I'm just wanting to test if a standard's working with the method, it takes 35 minutes so it takes a while so you can imagine the more trials you do the longer it takes and yeah i'm gonna leave it till monday so i can spend more time trying to figure out what's going on with the instrument what's going on with the samples well the standards and that's that in the meantime i have been reading papers for the grant application and getting some more ideas down on paper but yeah now it's time to go home thank you so much for watching this week's video it was a bit bit disjointed and my energy is obviously quite low because I'm not feeling too well but thank you for sticking around anyway I still wanted to vlog and give you an update on what I was up to this week show you some lab bits give you some updates on what's going on so I hope you managed to enjoy it nonetheless thank you so much for watching I appreciate all of your support as always and I'll see you next time bye